okay guys with last time we got to see how uh, we got to see how uh, Cython is installed okay and along with it several other libraries se several other libraries together now a few more just a few more libraries okay uh, we'll be using a library called as uh, netcdf for in the system for, I mean for the application uh, for the tutorial series okay to install that what you have to do is just type conda install netcdf4 and uh, this will download a few libraries along with it just like the previous times so proceed yes and uh, now it will start fetching all the libraries hope it doesn't take much time hmm okay anyway anyway I'll pause this up okay with this we have installed netcdf4 and if you guys want to install uh, if you want to access hdf, HDF files um, there's this library called as uh, h5py h5py okay press that press enter and that will automatically take you to the place find the library and will go about with it Hopefully this should work. Okay. And uh, it should be over. And that's about this part. So else finally, and if you want to install, if you want to run Fortran codes within your notebook or uh, do a little work with those kind of stuff okay if you want to install those stuff pos it's possible what you need is that you need to install a library called as uh, fortran magic Tran, uh, sp see the spelling ma magic um, it may not come nicely so what you do is just type anaconda okay uh, to do that before uh, before you do this you need to install anaconda client what it just check is that just it, it anaconda client helps to see whether certain libraries are available on the internet first of all this you better install it because this will be very helpful to find certain libraries that are not available uh, that are not available okay um where are we that is that the biggest library in this collection yes it is okay pillow is actually a library used for managing many images and uh, or links actually, link i suppose hmm. never heard so many different libraries before okay fine and now with that now let's try this again it just says that we need they c we couldn't find anything like that so let's type this uh, what did I type okay there's no package like that okay so what you can do is there's no package like that just go to google and just type fortran magic fortran magic there should be a uh, library like this Fortran Magic Python. Okay, there should be a library like this. Yeah, this page uh, for Python package index. If you go to this page, it will show you a uh, uh, place. And uh, where is the link? This is the link Fortran Magic. I think, okay, I wrote the spelling wrong. Not a problem. Uh, uh, conda install fortran magic presenter i wrote the spelling wrong hmm uh, come on man okay if this doesn't work what you can do is that since pip is already installed you can try pip okay pip is another package in package python per installer package or python inst package install manager okay that this is pip, pip is built uh, using uh, how do I put it? Since you have Conda, okay, it also has pip along with it. So uh, some packages install using pip. Some of them it uses in, it uses setter tools to install. That's how Conda does. So if you can use directly use pip over here, okay, 
pip install if you just look at the notation they gave over here okay minus u to upgrade if there is any but not a problem since we don't have let let it be as it is so if you press enter it just says that uh, requirement already up to date uh, installing collect collected packages so not a problem it's installed okay okay I guess it wasn't it was it, there was an issue I guess it now it's installed not a pro so it's not a problem okay and similarly uh, this is how you guys um, install all the necessary packages for you now a little bit of testing to make sure that everything is working fine just type uh, python first of all okay before that let me exit all this open a new t open the terminal again that is necessary so that the bash knows what's happening okay now i just type uh, python python okay now this is fine now to see all the modules available what you do is you just type help inside modules okay and press enter it'll take a moment and come on yeah fine it'll take a moment and uh, it'll just show you all the necessary libraries that are available in this folder home miniconda okay don't worry about the other stuff don't don't worry about other stuff the, all these libraries are installed so if you want in this list you can check the libraries that you want so like connect cdf which you install um, uh, let's see what else numpy we install Cython, we've installed that and uh, conda that is what it does i mean that's what that's necessary and uh, matplotlib that we installed and if you want you can look at sphinx that came along with spider and then there is where is it? Okay, spider should be here. Spider should spider should be here. It will also come. And then where is it? And then where is sympy? All the libraries that we did install or all of them are there. Okay, I, I guess so. Hopefully there are. And I can exit this. And then next check, IPython ipython should work and when you run ipython you should get a python console like name like this and the continuum analytics nice written like this if this is there then you're good to go and exit and then what we need is that we just need to check whether the ipython qt console is ready press enter press enter yeah perfect we get the same name that we got over here and we just opens in a new console okay the difference is that the console has a feature to say uh, put the document put the figures and everything on the same uh, option here so that's the only thing uh, it uses jupyter qt console so not that's not a problem that's not a problem okay i can close this close this up no okay I, I python qt console is fine next let's open spider let's open spider that will be the editor um, code dump huh? please 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 work ah perfect the console is the console is ready uh, the editor is ready we are good to start ok this is fine and that's about it this ed editor is ready now finally we need just one more stuff one more thing I Python notebook. Um, no more no more you name I Python notebook, huh? Type this again. No. Okay. I think we have to we didn't install I Python notebook. Conda install I Python Oh, look at my spelling. Ah, fine. I forgot. Uh, we have to install the notebook, right? IPython notebook. Okay, and this should be this. This, I guess, the notebook should be fine. Hopefully, we don't need any more other install installer installations. This is necessary. Um. Okay, if you guys can, if you're, uh, we're already halfway through, so you guys, I don't mind waiting another few seconds. <sighs> um, 
almost there and done so what you do just exit this terminal and then restart this reason so that if you do if you don't do this all the shell will not know whether the pro uh, whether, whether the shell will not be updated when you clo close and restart it will be updated now let's try by python notebook let's enter bingo you're good to go and if you already have a notebook that is available that you can just have a look not a problem and you just check in the console over here you should have something like ipython 2 but python 2 or something don't worry about the r thing that's my choice i that's mine i did i did i did that you don't have to okay so the notebook is fine the notebook is fine it's ready so quit this cancel press yes and that's it the can i mean ipython notebook is ready and uh, i'm not sure whether it is th do we need anything else apparently apparently everything is done so that's about this tutorial series that's about this now with these things installed now you can happily start to uh, start watching your uh, my other scientific programming using python tutorial series you can s uh, easily watch that you'll understand everything uh, what to do and what not to do and everything and if you guys are working in windows just op do this entire stuff using your command prompt and that's it that's about it that will take care of everything so nothing about it and if you're working in mac mac the the whatever procedure we did here will be the same for you guys if you're working in mac so don't worry about it so that's about it thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video